The JF-17 Thunder started as a budget, friendly fighter, and somehow became Pakistan's biggest defense flex in decades. What began as a humble project with China to replace aging Mirages and F-7s is now a full, blown export product, complete with airshow glamour, geopolitical weight, and a fan base that treats it like a national sports team. The upcoming Block 4 version, planned for unveiling around 2028, is where things start to get really interesting. Reports the credible ones, not the clickbait ones say Block 4 will push stealth, a little further diverterless supersonic inlets, radar, absorbent coatings, and even whispers of an internal weapons bay. That last part raises eyebrows because squeezing stealth tricks into a light airframe isn't easy. It's like trying to fit a sports car engine into a hatchback. Still, Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and Chingd, who seem confident they can trim radar signature without trimming too much performance. Underneath all the stealth chatter, Block 4 is really about brains, not just looks upgraded avionics, a refined data link, more digital backbone, and possibly new electronic warfare guts. Combine that with the already solid KLJ-7, a ESA radar, and you've got a jet that can see, jam, and shoot with serious attitude. If Block 4 hits its targets, Pakistan won't just have a good enough. Fighter it'll have a light, cheap, export, ready beast that makes sense for dozens of smaller air forces. The deal with Azerbaijan, reportedly worth billions, proves the Thunder is more than a patriotic pet project. That's 40 aircraft, training, logistics the full package. Azerbaijan chose the JF-17 over pricier Western toys probably because it offers 80% of the capability for about 30% of the cost. Operationally, the Thunder has been busy showing off. The Block Roman 3 variant has already joined overseas exercises, flying directly from Pakistan to Azerbaijan with aerial refueling a big deal for a single, engine light fighter. It's armed, networked, and showing the world that made in Pakistan doesn't mean makeshift. And when the PAF announced successful integration of the RAD Air, launched cruise missile, the message was clear. This jet isn't just for dogfights, it's a strike platform with real deterrence teeth. Still, the hype train needs brakes. Real stealth involves complex geometry, coatings, and maintenance standards that cost big money. So, while the JF-17 Block 4 may look sleeker and have some radar cross, section trimming, it's not about to sneak into F-35 territory, and that's fine. Its strength is balance, affordable, adaptable, and independent. The export angle is where Pakistan is quietly winning. Many countries that can't afford Rafales or Gripens are now looking at the Thunder as the smart buy. Add to that a maintenance setup that doesn't require a team of NASA engineers, and you have something genuinely valuable. Of course, verifying info in the JF-17 universe is an art form. Some defense. Websites out there look official, but are about as reliable as a weather forecast from 1990. 2. Stick to Jane's, Reuters, or the Real Defense News know the at the start. Bottom line, the JF-17 has gone from underdog to respectable contender. Block 4 might not make it invisible, but it'll definitely make it meaner, smarter, and more exportable. In an era when fighters cost more than small countries, the Thunder's philosophy is refreshingly practical. Fly what works, upgrade what matters, and don't overcomplicate success.